<laughs> okay, room number is 346. Winter characters will be like, oh, like they'll read like the first part of the line, or they'll like make a fun noise kind of thing, or like they go like, <laughs> I love it. Ready your little grandpa face. <laughs> School, the sweet years of our lives. Back when we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I'm going to my Let's go! Uh... Juju is player two, I think. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Stop with your input, goddamn. <laughs> oh, it might actually be you, Chuck. Yep. The the broski. He's picking blue. God. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, now I feel like a basic bitch just picking the default name. I'll accept it. That's fine. <laughs> Chad McLeod. experience the ultimate challenge, the monster prom. If I remember clearly, two weeks were left. Yo, my bad, bats. Go ahead. As we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of the six most charismatic Huzzah! classmates. Marina Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah! Damien Lavelle, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete, with compensating for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Yo, I think the wrong character. Lamia La, <laughs> La Lioncourt, a hipster vampire whose stand offish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Polly Geist, a party ghosts with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? Yeah, that's it. And Vera Ober... I never had to read that name. Oberlin? We... Vera Oberlin. Oh, yeah. Oberlin. A mean, self-aware gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Never mind, I'm going for Vera. It was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had two weeks till our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. As I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. So I'm gonna either go after the himbo, or, uh... Welcome to Drunk Monster Prom Stupid Pop Quiz. All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. <laughs> oh, shit! Monster Prom, stupid. Dude, I enjoy ever. playing with friends. I don't care what it is, as long as I'm playing with friends. 
we'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true self. I'm fucking scared. Let's start. Start! <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified. I don't like this. <sighs> be a visionary. What will the next big social media craze be? It's not letting me choose. It's, it's my blue. turn. It's Henny. <laughs> Chad McPenis. <laughs> Sorry, that cracks me up. You already know you're taking the middle one because this is bullshit. No, dude, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an intriguing individual. From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything it's commanded through the app by its users. That isn't good. Don't act like you know me. <laughs> a radio octopossum just bit you. What superpower do you get? I love Harry Potter's Sailor Moon up in the corner. Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, that is Star pretty Wars. good. Right. And there's Brady Dragon Ball Z. You missed it. Brady. In her in her ears. There's Dragon Ball. Or her ears. Her, her fucking hair. hair. <laughs> Oh, it's me? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, yeah, 100% this one. <laughs> What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have? Ooh, those are some good ones. Just wanted to tell you guys I love you. Love you too, dog. We love you too, bud. It's your turn, Chucky. This is the top right. How to make a killer cocktail? You thought I was going to choose something other than that? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised you didn't pick the Empire one. <laughs> nah, dude. I have a feeling you're going to end up going for the Ghost, even though you want to go for the Gorgon. I'm going for the Gorgon, dude. What are you going for, Come on, Blue. So I have nine smarts, five boldness, three creativity. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Is it me? Nah, that's uh, this. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I had to go up or down. No, 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 no. Get down. <sighs> Day during recess. You start a half hour rave that goes full on crazy. You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at one point there were like 300 people. Someone summons a demon from a nightmare dimensions, and the consequences might distort the fabric of reality. But who cares? It was a rad party. Too fun. As the scene rages on, you see one person looking less than oh, This rave, it depresses me. Beer pong, red solo cups. It's as though the content is to let the cliche devour them alive. Yo, this fucker is like a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Do you not shudder to see our student body turn into nothing more than zombies? Except for the little zombies, of course. They are they were already zombies, but I digress. What can we do to shake things up, bring life to the dead? And in not in a good way, party. <laughs> Bro, I'm voting bees, dog. Bro. <laughs> Fuck of course, the same boring mainstream songs droning on and on. Something must be done to disrupt them. And what is more inherently disruptive than bees? Nothing. You got to get to work at once, and it's a matter of time until it gets done. The point is that you get it the fuck done. <laughs> Music is now bees. <laughs> Instead of mindlessly repeating the same choreographic dance, the students dance with the youthful figure of a group of people being sung by bees. Yo, that's dope. Now this, this is your name here witnessing the fourth cultural phenomenon. 
to the whole school, there I say be buzzing about it. Oh my god, the cringe. Liam is so thrilled. He actually just made a pun. Unbelievable. You gained two crits. <laughs> um, sure. Your turn, Chucky. Use up and down and then hit A. Then Dude, the you get... you do. I'll give you guys one guess where I'm going. Uh... The bathroom. Fucking knew it. <laughs> Just hang him. <laughs> Read it out loud, Chucky. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn <laughs> by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You get plus zero shits. <laughs> but you gain two boldness. Yo, that's so Wait, good. Did your smarts go down? I no. think it did. No, I didn't. Later, you see that Polly is even more excited than usual, and you decide to see what's going on. Hey. Fuck! <laughs> you know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. Get it? Ha. And I think I finally figured it out. What'd you figure out, Broad? Who I really am? I mean, my soul emoji, the emoji that speaks the truth of my soul. I think a lot of people would say I'm like a winking ghost emoji or the Hela emoji. Uh, those yeah. are... So you just know. My real soul emoji is pink heart with a blue arrow through it. It's like sweet, right? But I've also got a dark side plus an arrow through the heart is how I was killed. Aww. Okay, I might be going for her. What about you? What's your soul emoji? Fire. Get down! Get, get down! Air horn. Fucking <laughs> cat! Air horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's actually not. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so you're going for hard? No, not the board. That's so sweet. Yeah. Would that, Would that kill be? you? Like, if I actually opened your heart? It's so hard to keep track of what kills people. I think I'm a zombie, so, like, yeah? <laughs> you're the whole package, yeah. hun. Bro, how did I nail her in one message? <laughs> uh, the you should know how easy they yeah. are. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. Hold on, I'm putting my cat out, dude. Your elders can learn yeah. valuable lessons. Sometimes, uh, after all of the months of nonsense and the dating gimmick, you, for, you forget that attending class is supposed to be primary, the primary activity at this high school. You gain two smarts. Shit, my smarts is at 13. <laughs> yeah, Pretty bro. soon, uh, you're fast asleep, having a wonderful dream involving caterpillars and maple syrup. Suddenly, Polly and Damien, alright, they're in your dream with you. Except they're not naked, like they usually are in your dream. Hi. Yo, wake up. We need your help, you goddamn it, narcoleptic. You wake up just in time. Damien was about to give up uh, give up and start hitting you on the, with the desk. Yo, Damien's right. an Next asshole. Situation. <laughs> Miss Boogeyman just passed out a pop quiz on the history of misunderstood abomination. This is bullshit. I don't even do regular quizzes, so obviously we're gonna ask for your, to copy your test. But you've been asleep this whole time, which is honestly a pretty rad move, but it doesn't help them. So, who should we copy instead? Your best to tell them that if you can sleep through this class, that they can talk as much as during the test. Probably not a very serious class. But this is a, clearly an opportunity to score some points with these two. So you give them um, some top notch advice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> it's a costy copy Liamis and all that social justice shit, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sick. Another excuse to take advantage of Leo. Yo, this guy's an asshole. Boy, nerd He's a boat. Demon. Give up your answers before I make you make you eat a bicycle or whatever dumb shit that is you like. Should I be a good cop here, or to balance out your bad cop act? What's a good cop? You guys know the answers are all upside down at the bottom of the page, right? I mean, the answers are Never, Icy, and Harris, the emotionally unstable were-rabbit. Thanks, Liam. You're the best. Is that... Was that the good cop? Uh, how does that even do that? Holly spends the rest of the class fighting being nice to Damien, and Liam rolls his eye dangerously hard. You gain two charms and one smart. How do you roll your eyes hard? 
had good questions. <laughs> that dangerously is dangerously hard. <laughs> dangerously hard. Like you can see the veins of your sclera. Um. Let's do random. Uh, let's do challenge. No. Play. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because the challenge one, we have to guess a question, um, and it's like an sure. honor system thing. All right, Chad McPenis is on the move, boys. Where am I going? You know where you're going. You're not going to read? Oh, you find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food, as usual. I, I don't play games like this, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table, and also some organs. Oh. Not, mm, bad. not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps over the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. Yo, this guy is not healthy for the community of this high school. <laughs> and this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. But I agree. The money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces and their own rewards still, I'm always looking to improve my efficiency. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims would be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those, you need a priest. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests? Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people at time. At one time. There's got to be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And make money at the same time. I'm sure there is that. There is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Yo, this is, this is, this is a hard choice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't judge me. Remember, this is also a dating <laughs> Don't <city>. judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Simple, elegant, raunchy bed. But how are you gonna trick a whole room full of people into having an orgy? Don't tell me you don't know how to do that. She knows how to do that? She's one unfaithful broad. Is this, is this something you do all the time? Is this something you don't do all the time? I thought you were the prince of hell. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta go answer my door. <laughs> Give me one okay. second, I'm sorry. What did I just listen to? We're playing a competitive dating sim. Oh, is it Monster Prom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the? I remember watching some YouTubers play it. I'm like, this is just why? Because <laughs> it's fun. I mean, it didn't look fun because I was watching, but it probably is way. It's probably more fun when you play it with friends. It really is. Like we're we're cracking up over here. Is it in four players? Yeah, but we already started the game. I don't have the game anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's only 20 bucks. But... I don't have money. Come on, Eclipsia. <laughs> I have like $9 and that's it. That's all I have, dude. We'll play so the piggy bank. Picks on only fans. Oh, wait. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I'm going to lower. Back. No, sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. Alright. Alright. That explains it. Well, to answer your question, this is a room full of high schoolers. <laughs> a slight breeze. That's funny. <laughs> Although the succubus sauce I snuck into the sloppy joes won't hurt either. Choo -choo. It certainly doesn't. You, Vera, Damien, retreat to a safe distance to film the sexy carnage. And avoid the fluids. Let's go. <laughs> I fucking I, I incited terribleness. Hey Chuck. Holly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crew of serfs. Whoa. So wait, you actually got serfs who eat for you? Uh, well, of course. I find eating to be terribly in, uh, in undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy serfs you got? Well, I have serfs to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. Is surf, I even uh, have a surf is that? Like a surf, like a slave. Oh. Yeah, but that's a nice way of saying that. That's a very nice way of saying that. <laughs> for standing on top of 
Uh, uh, I also have a surfing surf standing on top of <laughs> I go surfing. Wow, that's a lot of surfs. I have a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from surfdom. So now I'm all out of ideas. I'm sure Blue here could help probably think of a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Well, you're on the spot. What will it be? So, who's who? Oh my I'm god. I'm the blue ghost. Or, or, no, I'm the blue zombie. Chucky is the green uh, Frankenstein monster. And Juju is the black ghost. Oh, Juju? You're, you're <laughs> Juju skip. being progressive and shit with ghosts? I'm like a shade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. The hangover, the hangover one sounds pretty good. A surf that's actually just a room full of puppies? Why didn't my imagination surf come up with such a marvelous idea? I swear, if he hadn't escaped, I would have hung him by my execution surf immediately. He's As Christ. a matter of fact, <laughs> would you like to be a new imagination surf? The pay is non-existent, but I'll make up for it by the constant fear of death. You politely declined, but agree to go with the animal shelter to pick up a puppy surf instead. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, where are you, Juju? Let's start calling you Mega Mind. That's the shop. You you only have five money. Gotcha. You, you can buy things for her. And here's this one. Uh, she's a side character. Like she just does a random event. You can usually get like a random item or a thing from her. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds good. So I guess I'll go with the himbo. As you approach your, approach your chosen table, you see Liam carefully framing his artfully arranged jelly dessert with a transcendent, a transcendent food pick. Win. <laughs> food pick. Ride those picks to victory. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? When I say food, you say pick. Food. No. <laughs> food. Nah. Stop. Two, four, pick, eight. Could we appreciate food pick? Food pick, go! Cease this incessant chanting this instant. Oh. What? But I'm trying to help you take your best food pick. You've been trying to take this food pick for 20 minutes now. You've got to snap a pick so you can eat your tasty food. I don't eat, Scott. I only ordered this food so I can take pictures of it. And you're not helping. Oh, bro. I know, I know. My cheerleading just isn't good enough. What I need uh, is a cheer partner uh, to take me on to the next level. No, what I what I you need is a swift kick in the. But it's too late. God's already chosen you as his cheer partner. Now it's up to you. What what the two of you will do? I'll bet a gifted sub. I know which one you're gonna pick. What? <laughs> Dick. Uh, which one do you think I want to pick? Let me read them really quick. The the fucking wear guy. I don't like Liam, so. Uh... Liam's the nerd, right? Yeah, yeah Liam. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna throw him. Fucking knew it. <laughs> I get it. Amp him up like there's this like this guy <gasps> is. Let's do it. What? No, that's horrible. Up and go, little buddy. Reach for the <laughs> Okay, I'm actually getting very some very artistic angles on the uh, my food from up here, but this is still not okay. Oh, Liam, always being sarcastic. He loves it. Wait, you chose uh, you chose now to finally start understanding what sarcasm is? I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> you can't fool me, Liam. I know everything you you say means the opposite of what you think it means. Of what Liam I think it means. <laughs> what I think it means. <laughs> Liam eventually uh, gets Scott to pull him down and by saying he loves being thrown in the air. Scott still somehow believes he did the right thing and gives you the most intimate fist bump. Ooh. An intimate fist bump? You're getting fisted by your werewolf. Okay, let's do the challenge. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry immediately was like... <laughs> Everybody choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um... This is a movie. Oh. I'm gonna say The Italian Job. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, 
I'm gonna go Shutter Island. Shutter Island's probably my favorite movie. Player order is decided on how idiotic it would be to do a 10 hour remake of select movie are activating now. Wait, what was your movie, Juju? The Lion King. (laughs) Hold on, how do I do this? Oh, I can't pick. Um, Okay, so yeah, I have to decide who wins the argument. Wait, player orders decide based on hate. How the fuck are you gonna remake a ten a ten hour? What are you just gonna fit? Like you're gonna fit Morgan Freeman in there to just narrate five hours of it? I mean, that's actually. I I think they have Morgan Freeman and Speed Dial at Disney. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Like, (laughs) bro, ten hours of the the line. Mine is the most idiotic because how can you make a 10 hour car chase movie of stealing gold? That that really is. Yeah. I think I think The Lion King is the most idiotic. I actually you think that The Lion King is the most idiotic? Yeah, dude, you can't make a 10 hours of like imagine the drawers, the people that have to draw well, if the we, If we think about like if we incorporate Morgan Freeman, it's like the wow, movie just sells itself the, at that point. Savannah. It's like Happy no, Feet 4. I feel like 10 <laughs> hours of Shutter Island would also not be good. D- yeah, just like plot twists like every hour. It's like, surprise, you're not the guy. <laughs> but you are the guy. And then at some point, demons and shit are involved. Yeah, dude. That Actually, yeah, you... Juju first. Yeah, I think Juju's got this one. 10 yeah. hours of fucking... Okay, now, which is better at being dumb? 10 hours of Shutter Island horror or 10 hours of car driver racing? Okay, mine will at least have plot twists, so you may be surprised at least up into, like, a- past hour, like, five. Yeah, okay, mine's more dumb. <laughs> now, here's the idea, right? We do a 10-hour remake of The Lion King, and the extra time is just all Mufasa dying. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, now go to the place where the pink lady is, you'll buy items. Okay. So I need to... Also, Juju, I love you when you're a stud. I love you too, bye. Yeah. That day you spent some time in the library, on the library's PC, managing your start picker. You deceived lots of people with a sensational video of a possible promise. Nice. You gain... Okay. <laughs> Hundred thousand money, but almost everything goes to the cover cost of you. Oh, so it's supposed to be money. Yeah, this game takes so many shots. <laughs> it's like it is, <laughs> it's taken so many shots of people. By the way, everybody in voice chat, I do love you guys, um, but we will be narrating. So Okay. I just wanted to for the sake of content because I do plan on uploading this up to YouTube for the sake of content. <laughs> awesome. You see right, I just, just, just wanted to give my two cents on uh Mufasa yeah. dying for 10 hours. You're good. Alright, love you guys. Yep, see ya. You see a truly rare sight. Vera and Damien are sitting behind a PC Fucking Wait, metal! Did we just rig an election in the Midwest? Holy shit! I was trying to change the president's wallpaper to a dick pic. We need to cover our tracks, like, right now. Well, don't just stand there, even if the bystander help us. Of course, I'm talking to you. Damien can't help. Breaking shit is usually uh, is useless right now. Um, like the Vanderbilts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I disagree. God. Smashing the internet is literally our only option. So much smashing. Cool it, Damien. We, we don't have time to smash every server in the world. Importing Miranda's saboteurs um, alone would cost a fortune. Framing this one on here, this one here, would be far more cost-effective. Damien, secure the victim. So you want to put are your fingerprints on the keyboard the hard way? Dude, I'm with you, bro. Okay. I'm thrown. Like <laughs> But you already made your choice. Damien puts uh, you on the rack right. On a rack right, you lose the whole thing. <laughs> He's like, Fuck you. Oh, let's go. Who's next? There we go. Oh, 
about it. The day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have decided to give you, figuratively, oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations. It's pretty much rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creates. Yo, they're handing out top do top jobs in the fucking auditorium, bro. <laughs> why did I pick the bathroom? Why did I pick the bathroom? Liam isn't playing paying any attention to any of that. He co co corners you afterwards to lecture you on the Motogram filters. Ah, this fucking What no dick one seems again. to understand about filters is that they're not about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. That's why I use my own proprietary filters for almost all photos. Infinite step <laughs> It's also probably why I only have six uh, moment gram <laughs> followers, but we must all make sacrifices for our in any case I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot is simply the most document. As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks up out of the air, con air condition duct. Goodness, <laughs> the situation is even more dire than I thought. It's operation to make Liam popular again is to succeed. We must start immediately. <coughs> What's that? Why, yes, of course, you're part of my operation. I'm unwilling to force people into my circle. I'm unwillingly forcing people into my service. All Yo, the time. she's like, she must have been born in like the 1500s. <laughs> she reminds me of the princess from Drawn Together. Bro, she she is ruthless. Her and her and Poindexter McVampire. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Me Popular again? Well, he's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at one point. I'll check the history books later, but there's no time now. Phase one is getting Liam Moore. Uh, the moment grams, <laughs> moment gram followers. I took the liberty of having my royal spies discover the password to his account, so you can give it a total makeup. But what to do? Oh, dude, I already know which one you're picking. I don't think I don't think I have the stats for porn and bomb recipes, unfortunately, to work. Hey, a million homeless people. Yeah. Oh, fuck! I forgot I used to have the money for you. You picked the wrong one. <laughs> I still picked the wrong one. Unfortunately, Father's canceled my roll of credit cards after all the land phone shipped to our underwater castle drought. I'm sure you have enough money to accomplish this week. You totally don't. You decided to cut costs by hiring goats instead of people. Goats don't have thumbs or smartphones, so instead of having a following on Liam's uh, Lamentic Grand, you just have them follow him around in real life. He's come from. Where did all these the goats way. come from? <laughs> they ate my cashmere phone cozy. This is madness. Exit Liam. Pursued by goats. This is a terrible idea. Also, the goats are pretty expensive. You lose two creativity and um, one money. Sure. All right, let's go, Chad McPenis. Can I not go back to the bathroom? Yeah, you can. Take two. <laughs> Take a number two. Don't be worried. There will be an... Wow. Don't worry. There will be an illustrator of that specific moment. Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gained... Dude! What does that last one say? You gained two plus boldness and probably... Locosis with a slight a chance of an packet. STD. <laughs> I don't need love. <laughs> Suddenly you see Polly vomit ectoplasm all over her cell phone. You rush to help her. <sighs> I just got my 97th hey as an opening line on horny dating app. I just had to puke out of pure boredom. Hey, 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 what am I supposed to do with hey? Whatever happened to reaching out to someone with a uh, fierce dick pic? It doesn't work, chat. <laughs> <laughs> People are just copy-pasting hey and then sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. What about you? Are you a hey person too? I hope not. If you read the horny dating app profile of a fun-loving spectral delight such as myself, what would you say to me? I feel like you cursed me. I definitely wanted Medusa. Oh, 
Uh, you never have fun, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? That's a great opening line. Also, let's do drugs. <laughs> It would appear that you are somehow the president of a small country in the midst of a financial crisis. You know, this is kind of accurate for me. <laughs> Mostly because you diverted 100% of your finances to procuring more drugs. <laughs> Yo, I own Mexico now. <laughs> Luckily, this particular country only rises from the mist every once every hundred years so you're able to make a hasty exit with almost no consequences however when polly catches up to you at school she's less than impressed so wow when you said you wanted to do me all night like drugs what you meant was be totally unable to handle me piss your pants and blackout <laughs> <laughs> Yo, game. Too game. There. Game, shut up. <laughs> Yo, game, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Don't even think about hitting me up on horny dating app with a weak line like that. It's worse than hey. How is that worse than hey? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going back to Medusa. I always heard Jack, Chad McPenis can't handle his... Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Stupid me for giving you the benefit of the doubt. Man, now Polly thinks you're totally lame and wouldn't be able to handle anything doing her. Why don't you have a higher drug tolerance? Why didn't everyone tell you doing drugs is cool? Now you've lost... That's cool, I got, I got points to spare. Oh no. Hey. Let's go. Nothing better after a hard week of paying zero attention to school and blowing up steam by blowing things up. You, Liam, Damien, and Polly. Uh, oh, Chad McPhinus and Juju are having an awesome time for the of destruction of the personal property. When suddenly, everything goes black. You wake up an unspecific amount of time later in the darkness, haziness, and chain. Dude, I'm tripping really hard here, or are we chained in a well or something? I ain't saving you, bitch. Like, <laughs> shrieking. I'm not saving her. The slayer. Yes, she you kiss are. my ass. <laughs> and the well is being filled with water. Soon you'll all drown. Yes, you should have been more careful when accepting drinks from strangers. Now that sounds like something pussies would do. Girl, this is so uncool. I know you have something going on with Damien and Liam, but me, come on. Empowered women. Empowered women. <laughs> Water spurts pouring in, but nobody seems especially scared. If you think about it, this is the part, pretty shitty plan. Don't need to breathe. I don't need to breathe, and Polly can't can just phase out. Yeah, why not just stick you through the heart while you were drugged or chop off my head? So everyone's a prick now, huh? No, seriously, girl, I just, I'm just going to disappear in a minute reappear somewhere else so as far as i'm concerned the big takeaway from this experience is that i got free drinks and free drinks in that free drink the free drugs in that free drink it's all well and good but you're not sure how resistant to uh asphyxiation you are and your other buddies are you look around the well there's tons of coins people have tossed in here over the years to make a wish Along with the D-Raid, a piece of trash that people decided to discard, or maybe threw them in also making a wish, who's to say? Is that an old pamphlet of Episcopalian principles? No, no, I was distracted by the rusty iron bear trap. I'm just living for this glow in the dark <laughs> Wait, maybe we can use these to escape. I have a feeling... I feel weakness from the drugs, which is lame, but I bet I can break one person out of here. Who can be free of all of this free, these three random items? But who should it be? Blue. You seem to know everyone's business. What do you think? Oh, good question. Which of your friends could use the Episcopalian pamphlet Bear Trap and a dildo to escape from the well? I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Bro, it's I not me. Like I could MacGyver this situation. Yeah, I'm not the MacGyver in this situation. <laughs> I wish I could see your stats right now. He is an artist. This this well. Hold on. He is an artist. This well is canvas. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Huh? 
I'm yeah, no, nah, bro, I swear to God. Bro, you better. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy in this one. You know what, are you, yeah, you know what, are you kidding? Juju is the best-selling author of a non-fiction work, How to Escape from a Well Being, used for religious faithfully hunting gear in a sex toy. Their moment has finally arrived. I believe. Did it work? Great, Juju. Great. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, great. Juju did his thing. Get ready to be busted out of your chains with demon strength. Go ahead and advance it. Yeah. So Mo to be with a flash of devilish muscle, Juju, Juju is now free to begin their brilliant work. Let's go. Stacking the dildo, the Epis Episcopalian pamphlet, and the bear trap on top of one another, held together by some uh, of the pennies Juju has cobbled together. My long lost brother. The slayer yells from the uh, somewhere above the well. Is that your silhouette I see, <laughs> Salil? Yes, it is. And if you don't stop the right right now, he'll drown with us. Quick as a flash, the slayer stops the water and jumps down into the well. Damien steals the keys off of her, knocks her out, and frees the rest of you. And all six of you escape from the well. Yo, I knew it. If there's one man I trust with a dildo. <laughs> Damn, I'm strong. Good choice, Blue, for telling me how I should use my amazing strength. And well done, Juju, as well. Truly, those sculpture, that sculpture was incredibly beautiful. It belongs in a modern art exhibit. It, at least the second or third most beautiful sculpture made from an Episcopalian pamphlet, bear trap, and a dildo I've ever seen in my life. I like the part where we made the Slayer look like an idiot, and where I got a free drink and free drugs. It looks like it's a win-win-win, win-win-win situation, because all six of you walked away winners. But most importantly, you and Juju gained free bonus. Okay, I got fucked on the end of that, but it's cool. <laughs> I didn't think you had enough strength or intelligence to do it. Like IRL or in the game? Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> like, do you want to do another challenge? Yeah, let's do another hungry? challenge. Let's do another challenge. Uh, <laughs> decided based on who was most likely to be hiding corpses in their basement. Start debating now. Go ahead. Well, Chucky just Go got ahead. <laughs> Go uh, ahead. <laughs> so, Juju, would you be hiding corpses in your basement? I mean... <laughs> My FBI agent just put down his coffee. <laughs> Bro, he's listening. Leaning into, the, leaning into his headphones. Yeah, he's leaning in. He's just... He's... just we got him, like... boys. We got him. <laughs> we got him. My, my chat on stream usually accuses me of being like a pyro. Uh, pyromaniac and some shit, so it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I'm a wholesome guy. I would never. <laughs> you would never. <laughs> never. In my own home, so I don't have anybody to put in my face. All right. All right. Um. Let's go. Yeah. What the hell is so your? Nice does your character have right. tampons underneath his eyes? Oh, uh, what now? He has like drawn on eyes. eyeballs. He's like a shade. Yeah, but I'm talking like under. Oh, oh, oh. That day, your teacher <laughs> delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your mind. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your me. Or is he? We hope not. So oh, does the fucking police. The police hope not, hopes not to. <laughs> ah, the sound of learning. Uh, chalk on the on a blackboard and pencils on paper, and an ominous crash. It would seem that Damien and Vera have knocked over several desks in a rush to get one uh, particular seat. Listen, snakes for brains. Don't you dare even think about it. Back off, brimstone breath. I'll turn your stone. I'll turn you to stone before you can snap your oddly well manicured finger. <sighs> what makes you think you're worthy of sitting in the ultimate cool seat? I could get more likes posting a picture of me flipping you off than you'd get in a full frontal nude. Ah, clearly you've never seen Jesus my nude. Jesus Christ! Ever heard of a, a demon douche bros texting.com? Well then, if my sex are internet famous, 
I'm obviously the fucking cooler. You, I think being ridiculed on the internet makes you cooler than being a, on King Minus' list of wealthiest human hybrids under 300 years old. Okay. This goes on forever. It better settle in for them. Um, just take the fucking seat yourself <laughs> before either of them can stop you. Um, calm down uh, an unholy storm of uh, rhinoceri to obliterate this seat. Yo, um, if you don't bring rhinos, rhinos to the party, bro, I'm gonna be hurt. I'm trying to think. I I'm pretty sure I don't have the stats for this one. So let's do this one. You focus the spiritual nose horn, uh, nose horn between your eyes, just like the ancient undulant gods instructed you. That you <laughs> and that you YouTube video. video. Funny. Forms of rhinoceri <laughs> burst forth through the classroom floor and, and ground quakes as you make uh, it a rhinoceri rain. This will probably create a lot of work for um, Crazy Martin, a werebear janitor later, but fuck that guy. <laughs> the rhinos surge forward. Oh, no. Hold on, werebear? Werebear's a thing? <laughs> Maybe it's like a moonkin or like a, an owlbear from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. He throws himself into a swarm of rhinoceroses and starts headbutting them. And he's no match for their hard faces. And by the time the rhinos, rhinos leave, the cool seat is nothing more than splinters. It's, it's gone. We're free. Thanks. Yeah, now we can go back to measuring coolness the traditional way by subjecting our peers to scorn and abuse. Just as the gods intended, you gain two charm and one boldness. Um, sure. All right, Chad McPenis. We haven't had much luck in the bathroom. <laughs> but we're going to shoot our shot one more time. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity, so you graffiti the wall? No way. The gra graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magic wall that grants wishes. What a wall. A deep voice renowns from the wall, and within the wall says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then I gain two more boldness. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. You're admiring yourself in the mirror when a principal giant spider strolls in. Yo, am I hitting the fucking bonus character? Let's go. Moments later, Polly and Leedum enter huh? and appear. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> did, did you just see the principal come huh? in here? No, we're done for. Unless, which stall do you go into? That one, That that's where we hide all of our molly for the upcoming music festival. But didn't she get onto my ass for doing drugs? Because you passed out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Liam, be cool. It's fine. As long as he doesn't check the toilet tank for some weird reason. From the stall, you hear the principal say, And now to check the toilet tank, as I always do before using the toilet. <laughs> What's this? Says the principal. A plastic baggie full of small white pills. Could this be drugs? Why is the bathroom directly correlated with drugs? <laughs> principal giant spider bursts from the stall. Clutching the bag and his dreadful fangs, unacceptable, he chitters. Before you've even had time to make a plan, you hear yourself saying, those aren't drugs, they're... <laughs> they're tiny spider eggs. And you're about to kill them. We were cultivating them. He asks, what else have you done to advance the cause of monstrous spiders in this harsh, anti ranched whatever the fuck that word was. I never buy synthetic webs for my Halloween decorations, only organic. Oh my god, bro, this game takes so many shots. <laughs> and I uh, sometimes possess people and make them vomit bugs. My quintuple great-grandfather was a mummy. It's a family trait. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Not the vomit thing, but just the, <laughs> the, the, the reflex. <laughs> Principal Ghost Spider awards you with the Arachnoid Medal of Horror for your contributions to spider kind. It's, a, it's official, boys. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> it's official. 
more importantly, he gives Liam and Polymy their drugs back so they can raise the little darlings right. They swallow the drugs as soon as he's out of sight, and you gain two smarts and one plus charge. Let's go. How much molly did they just do? Bro, I have no idea, but I'm the fucking <laughs> spider king of high school. Praise me. <laughs> All of your eight-legged needs are right here. Yo, go to the bathroom. <laughs> you can't go to the bathroom. You already went there. Damn Locked right I went out. to the bathroom. I'm trying to win in the bath. This is the bathroom only strat. <laughs> it's the bathroom only strat. Give me your money. Of course, it's a cat girl. Regular flavored cocaine. Why is there tampons in this game? That's a Bloody fucking tampon. tampon. Or it's white cotton with a dress. One or the other. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I have an itch on my back. Right. Oh, yeah. Raw. Right, uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? The sock puppet. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bro, my sock yeah. puppet don't look like that. Yeah, I mean, yours is probably crusted up. My, sh my shit's like glass. <laughs> Yo, let's do another challenge, sorry. Got a shit ton of creativity, though. Who, me or you? Uh, Soiree did. No. Where is Soiree? Soiree, are you still in the chat, bro? Did we lose you? Soiree? Everybody chooses a brand, saying your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Brand. Gap. <laughs> Gap. Hershey's. Sorry, try um, disconnecting from the VC and then reconnecting. Because we can't hear you if you're talking. Actually, you know what? I can do that. <laughs> Wait, what? Do what? Oh, uh, it says Swarry's on the phone. One second. Oh, okay, word. Wood, wood, they love. Yeah, I'm gonna be really pissed if I end up with uh, Bubble right, Bitch. Um, now nah, you're good. Yeah, I just got a random call from my gramps. So what brand did everybody pick? I picked the Gap. Um, okay, I'm going to say Bethesda. <laughs> I'm gonna say World of Warcraft, actually. Okay, okay. Based on how it's likely to select the brand secret really rules the world. Bro, okay, Gap so has never went out of business, bro. Nobody shops there. <laughs> Nobody. Well, I mean, in my... So to de kind of debate mine for a minute, uh, sugar kind of controls people's brains. It's just true. Yeah. And I, feel I like fucking went for a clothing brand. Right you guys, no. like... I should have said, like... Uh, it should have been, like, the, the, the Rothschilds. <laughs> Oh, my leg edges. Fuck. All right. All right, let's see if I can do this. All right, I'm going to... He's like a space prince. Oh, okay. He's a side character, though, so you won't... You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silver right? While you're eating, while her eating serves chow down obedience at the neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect those stupid forks and spoons and shit. What a noob! I mean, even the knives don't 
really look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. Things can be used for things can be uh, for stuff other than killing. That's lame as hell. That's basically useless. I mean, you don't even there's serves to it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally, they are. Serfs must eat with their hands, as we fit to the lower classes. Right, <laughs> she don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. so you're saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose. Things have practical purposes. These two could go around and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve this dispute. Um, maybe it's right, Miri. Maybe it is time that you started murdering people with your silverware, or lay off Miranda. Miranda Damien. Uh, what about your collection of exotic corpses? Ah, shit. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Their corpses are useful. Useful for what? For, for holding down the important documents. What important documents? Documents about very important... Oh, fine. I guess I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in the shed, occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. There, are you happy? Yo, he's got some issues to work through. Whatever, <laughs> I'm gonna go play play with my corpses. You stay behind with Miranda, admire her collection. Do you teach you how to use the romance for Um, sure. All right, it's your boy, Chad McDick. <sighs> so you got a ghost girl and and Gorgon the separate, at separate tables. Hey, you have an opportunity to shit on Liam. Just saying. Yeah, let's go fuck him up. Watching Vera eat is usually pretty disturbing. Her snakes eat at the same time she does, but at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Go lefty, gobble that mouse. No, 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 watch out for your wiggles coming up from behind. Use that tongue. What the fuck is he describing? Her eating habits? The, uh, the snakes on her head are eating mice. Uh, he does this every week or so. Whenever my snakes need a meal, he seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. I'm, I'm not against that. <laughs> Also, I don't think he realizes that an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays to do this. <laughs> and now we learn more about Liam. <laughs> he keeps track of each snake's statistics on a little index card. He's even given them names. Go Slither, go Bindi, go Sanchez, go S Snake Snake, oh my god. Those aren't their names, God. No matter how much he pays for the tickets, it isn't enough. This seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how. By opening your mouth and yelling. <laughs> Please, God. Oh, yes. I'm trying to take Medusa back to the crib. There's a more exciting sport than snake eating contests. You gotta tell me about it. Oh yeah, earthworm eating contests are literally crawling with suspense. You should be shot for that pun. <laughs> and even better, they're going all the time with thousands of players in each game. Thousands? Where's the game? Where do I go? Anywhere there's dirt. Anywhere? There's dirt in so many places. So many places that aren't here. Get going. Sports that game or whatever. I will, Vera, I will. I swear, one of these days is gonna decide choking on his own food as a support. <laughs> I couldn't even read the rest of that. <laughs> it's a sport and die. Yeah. While you hope Scott doesn't actually die, the main thing on your mind right now is how Vera's smiling at you nice. Let's go. Yo, yo, I kinda, I pulled, I pulled both of them. You what can I, what can, what Holly. can I say? <laughs> Holly and Liam aren't eating. They're just taking pictures of their food. Welcome to the don't need to eat so we take photos of food pick up. Yeah, don't you take my bitch. <laughs> you better. You can believe that food. Like, heavy construction machinery should be seen and not tasted. Yeah, I mean, have you ever tasted heavy construction machinery? Have you? I don't know. Maybe. My weekends are usually kind of a blur, like last Saturday. There are plenty of times 
chronicle your sex plates later, Polly. Right now we need to focus on these food pigs. William and Polly are busy bantering. You are busily arranging dope food pick of your own. And now to complete your masterpiece, a food pick of the of whiskey that is the best food pick. Yeah. <laughs> that, is the, that is the best food pick. Build your phone at Liam just so he's about to snap a food pick, but his vampire reflects too quickly for you. <laughs> uh, trying to outmeta the meta master, are you? We'll see about that. Liam levels his phone at Polly just as she's about to take a food pick. Now you're taking food pick of a food pick of a food pick. Wow, you're pointing your phones at each other now? I want to play too. Suddenly, Polly's got her phone pointed at you. It's a food pick of a food pick of a food pick. Don't I'm you take her, bro. I'm, I'm a food pick. I'm a food pick. Don't I'm take her. You created the <laughs> triangle. Don't you take her, bro. <laughs> this is our finest hour. The world around you dissolves into different columns, numbers, and letters. You've done it. You can see the code. You're the one. The programming, the video game you're in awards you by raising your relationship points. With the character known as Peach. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's do a challenge. Alright. Uh, an object. Take your choice. I'm going to. Dildo. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna say a, an egg. I'm gonna go with. The Land Rover. Okay. Based on how disturbing it would be to find an insane person decided to date and marry the select object. Bro, Land Rover's gotta win, dog. <laughs> Imagine the guy. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have a very unhealthy relationship with the dildo. Dude, all I'm trying to tell you, yeah. imagine the guy that goes, he's like, I need I mean, that machine. <laughs> granted, I have seen that. There's literally like a strange addiction thing of a guy like putting a like a flashlight in the muffler of his like oh uh, dude i seen that oh, too no. yeah <laughs> now an egg is an interesting one um, but the, the but the egg is gonna go away like what are you gonna sleep with it and crush it yeah, yeah fair. That's, that's just like a that's like a thing the <laughs> land rover from the mars landing i'm telling you <laughs> you one guy purchased it for two million dollars to one. marry it <laughs> Um, sure. <sighs> Is it me? Oh, it's me. Yeah, it's here. You, Guess you where I'm first. going. It's the bathroom strat. It's the bathroom strat. The day you skip class and just hanging out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority, while in the bathroom you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold, you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. Okay, first of all, chat, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> that monstrous act would instantly give you plus 500 i might kill a turtle <laughs> i might kill a turtle but come on you're just talking to yourself in the mirror what's the merit in that 500 fucking points <laughs> you know what you can keep two plus boldness anyways for saying that to yourself out loud i nailed her Hey, Chad McPenis, remember that one time at that one party where you explained to me in great detail your brilliant secrets of the business world? Holy shit, you do not. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this is so spot on. <laughs> Holy shit, you do not. And that doesn't sound like your area of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. <laughs> But it's Vera, so you smile and nod. Well, I'll be attending a very fancy and important business dinner event tonight full of powerful people by exclusive invitation. And by exclusive invitation, I mean I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the Concert J into stone and then sneak in. I'd love to see you put other people's money where your mouth is if you're not doing anything tonight. You're planning on reorganizing your collection of very Let's rare go. mint condition of Pokemon cards. Fuck you, game. <laughs> <laughs> the popular trading card game based on the even more popular video game, Pocket Humans. Each card depicts a human being with a specific job and bio. But that can wait. So when the time... Who is that? What the fuck is that? 
<laughs> is that you, Juju? Yeah, yeah. Um, on the keyboard you do one through four. Oh, it's the left trigger. Okay. <sighs> but that can wait, so when the time rolls around for the fancy business dinner, you shove them in your pocket and roll out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Chad McPenis over here. Glad you can make it. I've been ranking in business cards hand over claw so far. I met Grid. I'm gonna skip Gerd those. Gorgonzola. Fuck that. <laughs> the Diamond Tampon Tycoon. That's a that's a good that's a good part of the collection, by the way. <laughs> um, and Reiki Bebop, the social media influencer slash rapper slash robot, and they're both very excited to do business with me. How have you done so far? You turn out your pockets and show Vera the evidence of your endeavors, which consists of the lobby card from the hotel convention is in, and the only thing handed to you by a real businessman is a sticky note with the word no written in red sharpie. Maybe I should have invited someone else, literally anyone else. It's okay, you still have an hour and a left in the event to time to pull out all the stops and choose an amazing tactic to get as many business cards as you can to prove to Vera what valuable business asset or prom date you are. <laughs> I'm taking her home, baby. <laughs> I'm taking her home. You stand on a chair and deliver a passion passionate impassioned unimprovised speech about the severity of your illness <laughs> I'm fucking trash dude I'm fucking trash <laughs> and your desperate need for business cards it's incredibly effective you remember what uh, Miranda whatever her name is once told you about rich people they love staying ridiculously wealthy while using just enough of that wealth in ways to make them appear sympathetic. Jesus Christ, this game is throwing shots. Thank you all so much for your generosity towards this poor, sickly, suffering, ugly soul. Um, thanks. I will be collecting business cards on his behalf. We greatly appreciate your generosity. One by one, the business people give Vera their cards before offering their condolences for what the illness has done to your eyes, ears, and general shit. <laughs> all in all it's actually oh, pretty insulting game. for you but Vera looks thrilled before too long she has collected the badly needed 100 business cards and that's exactly what we needed and it looks like Chad McPenis compulsively and <laughs> has been cured forever unless I need more business cards at a later time whatever that word is shouts a business suit clad lizard front person from the crowd why that was the exact disease for his charity fundraiser organized a cure for. The young woman and her ugly friend are heroes. Shouts a chupacabra smoking a gold cigar. Yo, I want to meet that chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I need to hang out with that guy. <laughs> I certainly am, and I look forward to doing heroic business with all of you. You and Vera exit the event. Business cards crammed into your pocket. Friendship solidified. Future brimming with business and prom potential. I got two smarts and one creativity. Let's go. I'm fixing to bang a Gorgon lady. <laughs> you're doing well for the first for the class play. You aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the class creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while you're class with talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in discussion, so you decide to convey it through music. You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. In plus to creativity. Afterwards, Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. After considering thoughtfully, I have come to the conclusion that you are not a complete poker. And seeing as I could use a partner for my tragically hit late night excursions, consider yourself invited tonight, 3 a.m. I'm sure you will not have trouble coming up with an appropriate underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go or anything, I just want to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. <laughs> Liam vanishes into the cold mist and angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. Uh, 
not. Both of these are really good. The first one sounds like it's the Saturday Night Saturday Night Live skit. Monstropolis, most exclusive nightclub. Asterisk. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you find Liam in front of Asterisk at precisely 3:18 a.m. being on time for both. Being on time is for both. <laughs> For a club so exclusive, even you haven't heard of it before. You had to snag an invite from a time traveling version of yourself from the future. On Stopolis's hippest hip club is a satanic diaper orgy inside a decommissioned ravioli factory run by a mice who loves the disco. Yo, Ratatouille 3 confirmed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. One look at the magnificent entryway made of stolen whale carcasses in the concept and his jaw drops. Ooh, <laughs> we're risk. fucking we're skating I, here. <laughs> I thought this was a myth. I've heard rumors that they haven't even got everything here. Use cribs, police brutality, the entire frozen food aisle from a discount supermarket. My god, they've even got a downstairs sub dungeon where you can relax and even do jacuzzis. I mean, this is pretty cool, I guess. In case you were wondering if human jacuzzi is when you sit in a circle while a bunch of naked people spit hot water at you. It keeps oh, no. your creativity in one fun. Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! Uh, let's not bring it up. Hey, there's a cutie pie. <laughs> the days in the time in the library, you see spinning, uh, sending malicious spam emails in hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame? Respond to such, such a blatant scam. You lose 10 karma, uh, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain two money. The quiet of the library. <laughs> nah, just kidding. This is a smoky spooky hive that's never quiet anywhere. It's interrupted by profan profanity laced screaming. You good for nothing, you fuck garbage piece of shit balls machinery. Oh, hey, Juju. Did you catch last night's supportive, supportive seed? Don't tell me if you did. I had to miss it for the reasons entirely unrelated to arson committed. Juju, uh, if you go for this guy, bro, I'm judging you. Last night. <laughs> and now I need to use the internet, but I feel like no matter what I do, I'm there I'm are gonna go pee spoilers lurking The beer's everywhere. running through me. I need to check my email, but if what if Scott got so excited about the plot twist, he emailed me about it, put the spoiler in the subject line, I want to go to the to my favorite arson enthusiast website, but what if they're talking about how sick the dragon's fire was last night when it roasted some character I don't even know who uh, I don't want to know who it was. Do you see my problem here? The net is dark and full of terrors. I can't put the whole fucking life on hold over a fucking sword of seeds, but I'll burn this place to the ground before I let this episode get ruined for me. Honestly, the ultim ultimatum seems somewhat weak since Damien would probably burn the whole place uh, to the ground with no prompting whatsoever. But you might as well give him a hand anyway. Um, create an algorithm that disseminates hundreds of, memes, hundreds of fake spoilers about uh, sports of seeds. Even if Damien does stumble across real spoilers, he won't, he won't know it. That's messed up your brain so good. <laughs> I feel like I'm smart enough to do this one. But let's wait for Chuckles. Just a second. Oh, I'm here. Welcome back. Good hey, hey. <laughs> so are you gonna scramble this guy's brains or uh, I'm gonna fuck him with some math? Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging you, dog. I'm judging you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit down at the computer next to Damien to get to work. I Use bet you do. Learned in AP hacking and cyber terrorism. What are you doing? As this classic juju, you don't actually engage in the dialogue, but rather continue your noble mission. You quickly create an AI for your plan named Roberto, uh, which is Roberto. Or nothing. Uh, Roberto. You just really like the name Roberto. Soon, your genius program is ready. Debbie the Dragon on actually the heir of the hilltop. What? What's this? Did you put a spoiler in front of my very eyes? Debbie the dra uh, dragon aunt is actually white and has been dead for thousands of years? Oh, I see. This one says, in last night's episode, I think you, uh, time died, but the other one says, in last night's episode, it was real that all this time time was actually the actor of another TV show and mistakenly used the supportive seat set. 
uh, which so many characters nobody realized until now. You flooded the internet with so many spoilers, but even the spoilers are no longer spoilers. Dude, that's, that's genius. Uh, with as many things bouncing around my head, I'm pretty sure none of this will actually stick. And I can, I can be appropriately entertained and surprised by whatever incest and murder I missed last night. Wait, what? It's a parody of Game of Thrones. Oh so my god. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how much I love murder. Maybe we can watch it together sometime. Aw, uh, yes. You gain two fun and one charm. Bro, you you gotta you yeah. gotta break away from those fuck boys, dog. <laughs> sure, you gonna pick the person you're gonna ask to monster from. Who's green? You're you. green. I'm green. Oh. <laughs> hey there. I I think I I think I'm pissed, Liam. Welcome to Liam the I'm pissed, bro. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick uh. Murder fuck boy and McNoob and fuck boy McDaniels. I'm such a cutie. Bro, there's <laughs> no fucking way that that murder squid is not gonna pick me. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? With you? What a noob! What a noob. <laughs> I have more fun setting a setting ants on fire, which is what I actually be doing on prom night. Setting ants on fire is rad. Now, get out of my sight. Okay? Uh, you fucking it's okay. suck! You moved on from this horrible and shameful failure. You become a functional person and eventually... Why did I get an achievement? <laughs> you shared lots of common interests, and after dating uh, for some years, you're married. One day, in the middle of a casual conversation, you mentioned how you couldn't get a, a date with Monster Prom. Despite your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic revelation. So ask your band to the next day. And thus, you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Yo, Never that's forget. not fair. No. The most important thing. Um, sure. All right, let's go, bitch. I swear to God, if she don't pick me, bro, I'm going to be so fucking mad. I put, a, I put a lot of effort into this, guys. <sighs> If you can't enjoy yourself from time to time, right? And you're not that bad, I must admit. Okay, it's settled. You will help me enjoy myself. Don't read too much into that. We can discuss the details later. See you there. Not bad. Congratulations. Fuck this game. <laughs> I won. Prom night was great. Vera showed interest in your career goals, and then she told you about hers. The passionate way she talked about her equal parts, scary and beautiful. So you used your best trick to get you best trick yet. You listened and cared sincerely. Dude, tell me I did not play this game like absolutely to my character. You sure did. <laughs> when the night was over, she kissed you goodbye on the cheek. The way she looked at you afterwards petrified you a bit. And you're sure it wasn't her Gorgon powers, but the knowledge that a new adventure seemed to be waiting you. Yo, I got the good ending, bro. Let's go, sorry. I'm rooting for you, dog. Up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? It's not that I love the concept of prom, but we need to be there if only to remind everyone we're cooler than them. It's almost the duty. We should do it too, huh? Yeah! You and Liam spent the night discussing obscure sentence TV shows and varying literature. You both laughed a lot, and for once, Liam seemed genuinely enjoy himself without the need for posing or judging other people. You notice his hand gently touching yours, and you know Liam will well enough to know this was not accidental. Maybe falling in love wasn't for posers after all. Aww. Well. Wait, what is mine? <laughs> Most likely to be Razgarn, the space goddess of illusion. You know, this game is pretty fucking accurate, boys. This game is pretty accurate. <laughs> Liam's quote, I'm over 400. Uh, this was long due. Yo, honestly, like, I could... I, you know what? Chat, I'm gonna end the stream just so I can upload this to YouTube and it not be, like, a two-hour video. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll be back a little bit later. This was oh, dope, yeah, the dude. Ending, the ending. Uh, what's Those the two ending? Weeks. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic, absurd weekends, weeks of our lives. 
After the Monster Prime, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Oh, that's pretty Fear awesome. Kept being fierce, strong, and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place, but you know what? Vera ended up making adult life her own bitch. Liam started an iconoclastic band that broke all conventions. Their latest album has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album's actually just a banana set on fire. And be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that was a super, was a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was also flammable. Those two weeks Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This game is super wholesome. And then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended. Yo, that's my there bitch. I married her. Yeah. That was, that was awesome. Dude, I I won. I set a goal and I did it. <laughs> well, we tied. Uh, well, I I banged the Medusa the girl, dude. That's a that's a personal plug. <laughs> Look how happy I'm the ghost girl at the start. I nah, dude. We fucked up. She was like, I don't do enough drugs or something. I don't know. She's the negative one in that relationship. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Up, oh, she's like the girl that came yeah, Juju fucked up bad. <laughs> Juju shot his shot. <laughs> yeah, I, we should do this again sometimes with more people and do like a full. Like, oh, yeah, you know? dude, I had fun, bro. This was dope. Yeah. We need to just find a fourth. Maybe we can convince Dave. Yeah, we could probably convince Dave. Imagine Dave. Oh my god, that'd be fantastic. Oh, that'd be terrible, dude. Dave's so clammed up. <laughs> Wait, who's Dave? I feel like this game is a lot more fun when you're reading it out loud, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm sorry that I, I forgot to read a couple times. I don't play no, games fine. like this. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? But I definitely, uh, I had fun. That was fun. I unlocked six new images in the gallery. I'm gonna go look at the gallery before I end the stream. More art. I've unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. Oh, you can get new endings now because you've played the game. So, by getting more endings... Oh, unlock. Do you want to join a very exclusive call club? Go to the shop. Oh, cool. I got... Oh, my God. All right, chat. I'm going to end this here. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. I'll be back a little bit later. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, don't look I too can. far into it. Bye. Love you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>